Continuing to field questions here for U.S. Simile, I have a student asking, now that the step one went to pass fail in January of 2022, how much more important is 2CK and should I step sit step three prior to applying? So I have a good answer for this. So before we get started, please subscribe my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now I'll start the clip. So student wants to know uh, the importance of 2CK and even step three, now that step one is a pass-fail exam. And the answer is, of course, step two is the monumental exam, okay? Um, not only do you need to have your pass on the step one, but yes, you need to ace step two, okay? That is the bulk of your competition. It is annoying. Uh, I don't agree with it. I think that it, the system was much better when we had the step one, of course. That enabled us to develop leverage, especially if our grades weren't as good as we wanted them to be. Uh, once again, it's not my fucking opinion. I wouldn't have changed it, but the fact of the matter is we have a step one exam that's now pass-fail, asinine, but it's pass-fail, and now everything rides on the 2CK, okay? So yes, you need to knock 2CK out of the park. Uh, everything you did, you've done in terms of work, volunteer activities, uh, you know, even your, well, your essay will be important as far as making sure that you're, you demonstrate humility and you can put together decent English, but uh, as I said, your work experiences, your volunteer activities, et cetera, mean jack fucking shit, okay? You could have volunteered in Africa somewhere, you know, the cliche example of like, you literally worked for eight years as a medic in Swaziland, and if you get a low 2CK score, programs don't give a fuck, okay? That's how it is. Everything's about numbers. So the notion of step three now, the fact of the matter is, it's uh, a very new transition we're in, right? So there's no objective data. It's not like program directors are coming out and saying, yes, you need to have step three. Most people don't have a step three when they apply, okay? Most people just don't have that variable as part of their application. I don't have an exact figure, okay? But I would guess at least 99% of applicants don't have a step three when they apply. So for that to be a salient aspect of one's application as far as its importance, I would say no. Uh, however, if you are an IMG and you are applying into a competitive specialty and you have a strong 2CK, uh, having a strong step three can only help you. Uh, but if you were to say, oh, well, are you saying I should like wait and apply when I have a step three? No, I wouldn't wait. But I do think, yes, it can only help you, right? Uh, but no, I don't think a student should wait and sit and try to sit step three prior to applying. Um, it's going to be speculative at best, okay? It's going to be speculative, uh, but because most students don't have a step three, I would say it's not going to really influence the decision of the program. So you need to have a strong step two. You need to write an essay that demonstrates humility and good sentence structure. Uh, your jobs and your volunteer activities mean jack fucking shit, as I said. Grades, I mean, they probably don't care. We could... Uh, entertain, you know, the notion that your preclinical grades will matter in terms of uh, representing what your step one could have. I really don't think that the majority of programs are going to weigh grades too heavily because of the variability among programs, among school medical schools. It's more about where you sit in your class, okay? It's not the exact grades. It's just where did you sit in your class, okay? Were you in the top 1%? Were you in the top 50%, etc.? Going back to the beginning of the clip, it's fucking stupid that we don't have the numerical step one that could, uh, in the past, override shitty grades. It used to be a thing where students would be, you know, they'd say, like, you know, I'm in the bottom 30% of my class or whatever, but I had a strong step one score, and that used to provide leverage. It's all on the 2CK now, and it's going to create a lot of headaches as far as uh, the unfairness um, because it's more difficult to... Uh, get accepted into programs, particularly as an IMG. You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.